always should be doing something new in him. Yes. Every year should be a new thing, a new tongue. Listen, yeah. every couple of months, God changed my tongues. I'd be like, oh, yes, my God, where did that come from? Yes, you yeah. shouldn't be on the same level. Yes, every year, every six months, every month, I'd be begging, take me to a new level. But for some of y'all didn't want to go slow pace, that's okay. But every year, your tongue should not be like this. I put the book up. By next year, I wanted to go huck up on the cover. See, something. It should be changing. If I see you 10 years down and you still speaking the same language, something wrong. Ain't no growth. Because edification, God just brings you up higher and higher. I shouldn't be dealing with the same demon. Same demon, lust. You've been hunted with lust. When you gonna get a grip and tell that nigga stay back, stay down, get down, get down? You can't come up. You can't come up. That lust demon can't have me no more. Now, now here come another demon. Now this a new one. Now, something new. Let me attack this one, cause this one new. I like a new fight. Old fights, you get tired of the same old fight. Get tired of the same old thing. Man, and then y'all been embarrassed. Don't you get embarrassed? You gotta still struggle with the same. And you gotta go and then they be, she's still struggling with that? That was last year. She's still going over there, laying up with that? And she knew that was bad. supposed to be safe. Oh, they could they'll eat you up. Amen. So listen, it's the price you pay for looking back. I didn't get finny, finished, but it's okay. But I do want to give y'all some key points. Okay, y'all ready? Yeah. And wait a minute, let me do this one. James said, a, a double-minded man is unstable in all his way. He said, let him ask nothing of God. Yes. Nothing. When you're double-minded, you can't ask nothing from God. Amen. When you're double-minded, just don't even ask. Because you ain't even, you, you look warm. He gonna spit you out anyway. Yes. You ain't hot, you ain't cold. I'd rather, I'd rather for people to come up in here, and which I please don't do, but I'd rather for you to be hot or cold. I rather if you come over here and say, "Look, I ain't ready for that right yes. now," or "Look, I'm ready and I'm 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 trying." Yes. Then to be just straggling the fence. Stop yes. straggling. Stop straggling. Saints. Right. Talking to saints. Yeah. Stop straggling. Stop showing these people one thing and doing another. Yes. Don't invite them here and then they know something about you. Yes. Not from your past, from now. Right. Cause you done went and got high with them today. Oh. And then you asking them to come to church and you know you cussing in front of them. You talking any kind of way. They ain't paying attention to you. Yes, yes, yes. They're looking at you. What makes them want to live safe if you're not acting safe? Right. What makes them want to live right and holy? And you tell them, you need to come over there with, don't, don't mention my name. <laughs> my pastor name, don't tell my name. Not when you ain't living right. For real. What kind of what kind of people she raising over there? Oh, that's your pastor? And you cussing like this? That somebody got a rumor about him then. Out about him. She cuss she cuss you out. The most you hear me say is nigga. Yeah. And she cussed up. And I wanna I wanna see who said it. You know, I used to cuss you out. Didn't I jazz? My God. Did not eat you up. I would eat you. I'll have you. I'll cuss you. I, I used to cuss you out so bad. I have you want to commit suicide when I was done. I would have a man want to kill me, just beat me to death, just stomp me, and I'd just be steady going. You're still a whore. You're still a whore. What? What? I don't care. Beat me, cause I'm gonna still. That's I used to be crazy as a messy bug. Now I'm telling the devil, you still the devil, and you still ain't got no power. What, nigga? What? He, he steady beating. He steady throwing everything. And I'm steady saying, I'm still going to serve him. Right. Now what? Uh -huh. yeah. Tough guys. Tough women. Right, right, right. Can you stand against something you ain't even see? That's it. Can you okay. tell that nigga, nigga, I'm still going to stand with God or what? If you was out in the street, yeah. Yeah. you was out in the street and somebody ran up on you, what you going to do? Either you going to box him or put him under. So, but then we got something we can't see that keep hitting us and we can't even stand. That's it. Oh, it was too hard. I couldn't do it. What? We cannot make progress with God as long as we are trying to hold on 
unto pieces of your old life. Yeah. No one can serve two masters. That's number one. Yeah. Okay? We can't. We can't. Yeah. Listen. Number two. To look back means to long for the sin or trap that God has delivered us from. Yes. Returning to a pattern of sin or situation makes us barren in the spirit walk. Y'all yes. hear that? Mm -hmm. It says returning to the, to the same pattern of sin or situation makes us barren in our spiritual walk with the Lord. But confession, repentance... And forgiveness restores your fellowship with God. And it opens the door once again for the Holy Ghost to empower you. Bearing. This is the definition of being. Bearing means to not. Bearing means not being able to produce fruit. Not being profitable in anything of God. Bearing means lack of anything of God and what he has asked you to do. That's bearing. Barren is you can't produce. Mm -hmm. A barren person is somebody that can't have a baby. No, uh -huh. You can't produce nothing. Mm -hmm. Ain't no fruit coming out of it. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus cursed. Yes. When he walked past the fig tree and he wanted some fruit, mm -hmm. even though it wasn't that season to want the fruit, he said he walked past us. He said, "I want." You cursed. Yes. From that point on, you cannot bear no more fruit. Nothing will eat from you. Nobody will eat from you. You don't never want to go out here and hear God say, there ain't nothing going to eat from you. Pastors, bishops, because you ain't producing the right fruit. Because you just doing, you going through the accolades, but you ain't producing no fruit. And so guess what he say? He said, I'll curse you from the root and won't nothing eat from you. So pastors just run around here, got a mega churches. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing getting fed. Mm -hmm. They dying a spiritual death. Oh, yes. They dying in the spirit. Yeah, so what? They prospering financially. And uh, they ain't got nothing in the Lord. No. Nothing. They can dance. They can do it all. Nothing. nothing. Ain't got no substance. No fruit has been born from that person. When I go to such and such a church of God and, 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 and uh, Pentecostal, Apostolic, uh, Baptist, uh, Methodist, you go to all these places, but who are you in God? Where your relationship is? Where's your relationship? Have you got an intimacy with God, with the Lord Jesus Christ, or did you get it with your pastor? Did you get your intimacy with your pastor? Did you build a relationship with him and his wife, First Lady, Tutu? First lady, I just got I'm first lady, I just love first lady, but where, where's the relationship? Because when it's all said and done, pastor, bishop, prophet, prophets can't take you to heaven. And sure ain't gonna stand before you for you in hell. Oh, I take her, I got her. No. Uh-uh. Ain't nobody gonna stand before God but you. Amen. We got to study to show thyself and prove. Yeah. We got to know this word for ourselves. We got to get it. I don't want to hear Pastor said it. Hmm. Pastor said this. And my pastor said that. Ooh. No. What did God say? Amen. What did this Ooh. word say? Pastor might have lied to you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Pastor might have told you what Pastor wanted come you to on, hear. Come on, come on. Uh -huh. But when you know that you know that you know you know. Yeah. And this word. This word ain't going to lie. No, it ain't going to twist it. It ain't going to turn it. It ain't going to add to it or take from it. This Amen. word ain't. Amen. Pastor going to make it twist yes. to do what it do. <laughs> I done seen a pastor take it and make it do what it do. Okay, now. I'm serious. Tell it. Just make it do what it do. The Bible says money answers all things. Read it for real. Study it. Study it. Study it. Know that Solomon... Samuel, Samuel, Samuel did for Saul. Right. Saul didn't bring it. So when they just go to that, they only ain't gonna go deep. No. They just gonna go to that little bit and say, then the Bible, they said, what should we bring the prophet? That's it. Okay, but go further, because I study. I kept hearing this pastor say this. I said, I got to read this for myself. So I read it and said, okay, it asked that. And yeah, they got together, him and the servant got together and got a couple of pieces of silver. But then when I read down, but they never gave it to him. He took care of them. He fed them. He laid
laid them up in their house. He, so when did he ever give to the prophet? Yes, the Bible says you give to a prophet, you gain a prophet yeah. reward. The key word is give. Yeah. Yeah. Give and don't give grudgingly. Yeah. Don't make me. Don't force me to what? Yeah. That's what give yeah. is the key yeah. word. Yeah. Give. That's the key word. Yeah. Not pimped. Yeah. Not beaten. You know how your pimp. Well, no, y'all probably don't know. Y'all probably ain't beat. But in the 70s, I was raised around pimps. And so in the 70s, if they didn't bring that money, they got beat. So the pimps on the pulpit, they beating you. They're making you feel like you ain't got nothing. They'll do this. They'll do this. This one right here, she bring me all my money. But you, 